Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Sewing and Long Arm Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Aurifil, Aurifil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Free Spirit, a new generation of creative and playful fabrics perfect for fashions, home decor, quilting, crafting, and more. Hovel Sewing, cut it close with hovels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Thermoweb, manufacturer of heat and bond adhesives and new Lux interfacings, proudly made in the USA. Hello to you and hello to you. Hi, Mayor. How's it going? We're back. We're back. We're back. With hexagons. More mm -hmm. hexagon fun. This show is the second part of a two-part mini-series. Yes. <laughs> mini -series. It's the smallest series you can have. <laughs> the miniest <laughs> mini-series ever. Uh, we are doing hexagons again today, yes. but we're specifically focusing on uh, English paper piecing, hexagon mm -hmm. method. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about this lovely pillow. So cute. Uh, this was made in this fashion. This is in Quilty Magazine, mm -hmm. and you can find that at a at a heyquilty.com website uh, near you. Um, and let me just say, I'm not sure how the maker of this pillow, what method she used, or he. <laughs> she. She, mm -hmm. but, um, so there's lots of ways to do it. Yes, yeah, when, but the directions right, will be right. this method. And today, uh, this portion of the show is going to be about the whip stitch, right. connecting these hexagons mm -hmm. that we made in the previous show uh, yeah. to each other. And some people do it by machine, but I like to do it by hand. Mm -hmm. And really, you know, I always feel like with print instructions and video instructions, mm -hmm. they enhance each other. Yes. So it gives you more option to choose, you know, the, the method you want to do. Never, mm -hmm. I always say, if you find a teacher or a book that says this is the only way to do this, mm -hmm. run away as right. fast as you can or right. throw that out because right. there's lots of ways, just like cooking, lots of ways to get where you want to go. You can roast a chicken. A lot, of, a different lot of different ways. You, you can, can toss stitch, a salad. You can whip stitch a yes. hexagon. So in our last episode, yes. <laughs> um, we made this little guy. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn it over because you can see it's just sewn and it's with dark thread. You know, I, I know we use uh, dark thread on little quilting and on quilty so people can see. Mm -hmm. But you can use kind of like junk thread. To, sure. to, I didn't. I used beautiful orophil thread. But, Good. But, um, but you just need to get it done. It doesn't have to because be that tight. Because you're taking tidy. that out. Right? Eventually we're taking that out, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And um, so I've got several here and we're making this little rosette like this. Mm -hmm. I love the word rosette. Makes me think of, isn't there a cookie? There's a rosette cookie too. I don't know, it should be. Yeah, so what we do is we take any two sides of this and we just line them up. And the, because these papers have been cut exactly the same size, mm -hmm. because the, the paper itself lets you roll that over on its edge, mm -hmm. they all are perfect, Yep. okay? So I've got needle and thread here. And you know, I'm a thimble sewer, but for this I just, I guess I was making a thousand of them. I need my thimble, mm -hmm. but but what you do here, and now at this stage we would not use black thread. Mm -hmm. We would use a, a soft green. Mm -hmm. We'd try to match because these. This is going to look kind of terrible. I'm warning you. That's okay. But it's so you can see it. Yeah. But I you want to hide it after this. I would use taupe, by the way. Taupe. Yeah, or a little, a little, you know, something because you're going to sew very shallow. This whip stitch. I'm just holding these, pinching these together. You're taking like two and a half millimeters. Of well, a space. I'd, I'd call it a two six three sixteenths or okay or I don't know. I mean, you know, you can be obsessive. I've seen ones where it's just like crazy because there's so many stitches, but you know, suit yourself. But I'm actually sewing barely through the edge of the paper. I'm trying to sew sew actually just in the fold, if you get what I mean. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just I just keep them pinched it together. It seems so fragile. I mean, isn't oh, that no. crazy fragile? No, it's not. And I'll tell you something changing the subject slightly, is that there are British quilts that are this mosaic, different from our grandmother's flower garden that is very American, and soldiers recuperating in the hospital in England, men, they would put them on doing this. And you can date the quilt by oh, the newspapers. Nice. The newspapers yeah. that are in there yeah. tell you the date of the quilt, which is I, amazing. I saw that at the Victoria and Albert Yes, Museum. That's, they have a lot of them there. But I didn't know the soldiers, they had the soldiers doing it. It was for therapy. Those nurses. They had a they had a plot. I was like, I need some quilts done. Hey. Yeah. And often they aren't quilted. Mm, interesting. Okay, so you come to mm -hmm. the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let me open it so people can see. Mm -hmm. You can barely see that. I don't know if our, I know we've got good cameras, oh, but you can barely see it. They'll get it. Okay. So then you go to the next one, and so here I have two that I finished sewing together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I need to actually get this thread. Cut that off for me. Just whack it off there. And I'm gonna, I would start here, 
And actually what I'd do is I'd start out here because I can sew along here and then up here. Okay? So what you so start, start at the outside. I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna sew a couple stitches, and then I'm gonna pick one that I prepared. And since I didn't knot that thread, I'm not gonna come all the way through because when I take the next stitch, I think it will just hold, or with a few stitches it will hold. Which so no knots you, actually make it easy to take out. You later. wouldn't need to knot Oops, that. Thing? I guess you would. <laughs> You heard it here first. Okay, so I sew along sure, here, sure. and then let me get one where I've done that. Mm -hmm. So I sewed along here, mm -hmm. and then I still have thread left. Mm -hmm. So this is what's so cool. You just turn this like this, wow, mm -hmm. and you just carry on, as they would say in England. Carry on. You just carry on, keep calm, and carry on. Mm -hmm. And I sew this. Now you do have a knot in that. Well, because it was it was continued. So oh, right, right, right. Erase that about knot. Actually, if it was very careful and didn't pull it through, by the time I got four stitches mm. in there, I think it would hold. Interesting. Okay. Try it at home. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, there is so, a way to do all of this on the machine. And we did a Love of Quilting episode. I think you did it with Gail Kessler on that. No, I, no, we we were together on that. She made the quilt. It was from oh, the, win the right. Winter Thur, yes, Winterthur Museum or something. But so look at Love of Quilting and Fonz and Porter if you want to find oh that gosh, show. Oh my gosh, I got the, I threaded it right here. So lucky. Hmm. Usually I wear my glasses instead of my contacts when I do this. So we just keep on going mm -hmm. to the end. And then once we get to the end, mm -hmm. then you just go somewhere else and you put one in here. Wow. So the neat thing would be to bring this in and show how, look, you can so on any side and when you're gonna join the when you're gonna join these you're gonna join you just do it like that wow. join it sure and so you can actually see if you were ill lying in bed you couldn't get up you were recuperating I don't like this. this is terrible you, well no you could while away the time no television no internet it's in the past right. and you would just uh, while away the time sewing these together. You just spend your whole life just doing well, doing that. There's worse things. <laughs> there, you know? are. there are worse things there to do. There are worse things. I this love is, them. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is pretty cool. You yeah. can take it with you wherever you and go. And listen, we got a few seconds. Let's just show this cool quilt. This is the one I made years ago, mm -hmm. my British frame quilt. This is a very English style, and those rosettes were in those kinds of quilts. And they're still in patchwork updated. today. Because, updated. Yes, updated uh, fabrics. So that's English paper piecing on hexagons. Mom, thanks. I couldn't have done it without you because I, I don't do a lot of this stuff. You probably would really like it since you actually like everything. <laughs> I do. I like everything, including World War II? No, 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 no. No, no that no. would have been the other. Anyway. No. The okay, sewing part. Yeah. Just the sewing part. Just the sewing part. Okay. See you next time. Thanks for coming on the show. You're welcome. Bye. Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Sewing and Long Arm Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Free Spirit, a new generation of creative and playful fabrics perfect for fashions, home decor, quilting, crafting, and more. Hovel Sewing, cut it close with hovels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Thermoweb, Manufacturer of heat and bond adhesives and new Lux interfacings, proudly made in the USA.